what's popping uh this youtube video i'm just trying to show you my animals you know i got a couple of cockatiels and some uh some other birds but today i'm going to focus on the cockatiels um i have them in this flight cage pretty big for them and i have two nest boxes one on this side one on that side um and I've just had them set up like this year round. They don't breed right now because it's summer, but uh, I make sure they're healthy. They have everything they need. Um, and yeah. I have a pair of uh, Latinos and then a Latino with a white face and they've bred for me like five times. Um, always come out white face. So I have a big piece of cuddle bone right there. They all chew at it. Um, I have a lot of branches up high because in nature, the higher a cockatoo is, the more happy, the more empowered it feels. Um, it's always best to do that. I keep all the food down at the bottom uh, because in nature, they find all the food in the bottom uh, and also keeps them more active. I keep a little dish right there with health grit it's a mixture of little rocks that has charcoal and calcium. Um, that helps them a lot. Birds have two stomachs. They have a, uh, a crop in the gizzard. The crop is for rocks. They swallow a couple of rocks per week. And those rocks help up grind up the seed and it gives them more nutrients. And it also includes charcoal, which cleans them out and calcium, which will fortify their bones and give them uh, stronger uh, eggs. Uh, when they are breeding um, I keep two pieces of spray millet at all times spray millet is a very good seed high in protein is the first seed that they learn to crack in the wild so it has very very good nutrition nutrition uh, and uh, helps them a lot especially during the breeding season so this is the food that I give them it's cocktail mix uh, by Magnolia Bird Farm. Very good seed mix. It has a lot of the smaller seeds that they need, uh, healthier seeds, and uh, it has black oil sunflower and regular sunflower. Very high in fat. It's good when they're in bigger cages, like in a flight. Uh, not so good if they're in a, in a little cage. But yeah, this is courtesy by Magnolia Bird Farm. Really good seed, have good, good prices. Um, that's where I get all my bird food. I make sure every single day I give my cockatiels fresh fruits and vegetables. The more vegetables and fruits you give them, the longer they'll live, the more seed, the shorter the, their lifespan will be. I make sure when they're breeding, I give them lots of egg food, uh, boiled eggs, I give them uh, bread, anything you, anything you can eat, anything a human can eat, birds can eat. Uh, so you wanna make sure to give them anything you're eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, the, uh, the only thing, the only two things you can't give a bird is chocolate and avocado. Those two things will kill them. They have a fatty acid that will kill them. But other than that, the more you give them, the more you expand their palates, the more you interest them, um, the more prone they are to breed. Now, uh, they come from Australia. So in Australia, the breeding, uh, they breed during the spring. So spring is the prime time spring is when everything's growing there's rain there's a lot of fruits and vegetables so if you want cockatiels to breed give them a lot of fruits and vegetables give them a lot of different types of food grains uh sprouts it's very good for them and then the dry season is when they're not breeding so like right now so it's it's um summer so right now they're just in the race to phase uh getting stronger getting more nutrients in the body 